Over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real, anyway. Their attacks felt real enough. Maybe they. Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow. Heads up. More than rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. They're rock people. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Carve them a new one! Hey! Don't suppose you guys know how to heal our bodies? You talking is only making them matter! Like a tree! I hope we're supposed to be shooting these guys, Mantis! Well, no, for sure! Don't die! Time to shred them! Does everything in this cave want to kill us? Suits me just fine! Hold up, Rocket! about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just trying to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I know why we're doing it. You don't think Rax won't hear all of us. Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. You sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! Do cure Drax, we should make up a story about how we battled some epic one-of-a-kind monster. Oh, you won't have to make that up. Just gonna uh, assume you got your timelines crossed.
If there's sunlight, does that mean there are holes on the surface that lead all the way down here? Maybe that's it. All these jerks who keep attacking us fell in and got stuck. Everything here is strange. Strange plants, strange fog, strange company. Probably the weird fogs affecting the plants. Oh no, I feel it too. It's something else. Something powerful. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Yes! It's just a plant plant, not a you. And we ain't got much choice. What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where, oh where, would we get another gun? What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation, Rocket don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably going to encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Gamora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this? Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Mantis, any of those realities where we just leave Rocket here? Hypothetically speaking. Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Hypothetically speaking! That's one big green star. Here's the almighty Star Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Give me something else out. Who's that? Who's that? Like that. Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. What? Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath? Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Easy, Greenie. We'll figure it out. Hey, Bug Lady. Exactly how many times you see us die horribly? Oh, no, 50,000, little fuzzy. Uh, it's actually 
kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. I'd ask it to move, but I don't think this is one of them smart plans. <laughs> see? I told you. Crew, let's see about crossing. <laughs> Says no way, not without me. Glad someone's got my back. Hey, Groot. He ain't gonna let you leave me. It's not that. I just want some help up here. <laughs> All right, he'll do it. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Don't screw up the jump. <laughs> A little more help, Gamora. Sure, no problem. This looks good. So this Jack Beanstalk guy, is that an Earth hero? Kinda. Basically, he plants some magic beans and they grow into this giant plant, which... Why don't we just leave him behind? Focus on saving Drax. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't... Groot would never go for that. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe them in your sleep. Nice shot, Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. That's why they call me Star-Lord! You're up, Rocket! What? No, not me! Less wet. I'm zero percent interested. All right, I'm on it. Sure, you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. Crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. The what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. <laughs> Everyone okay?